Now I'm in my bedroom and what I intend to do with the strip kit is to install it going around the bed, around the back of the headboard, coming all the way around and around the bottom of the bed and then coming back again. The bed's actually a TV bed so I thought it'd be a nice idea to fit this to provide some ambient light as you're watching TV. Let's test out this LED strip kit. So from my Android phone, if I press the on button, there you go. How cool is that? So it gives a nice amount of ambient light all around the bed, as you can see. And if I now come round just to show, so just to highlight, it's 10 meters, and 10 meters for one strip started from there, going all the way round, round there, and then coming around this way. It just about slotted in to the area over here and the other ones actually come up across down and gone across so lengthwise it's worked out perfectly let me show the different lighting options you have on there so we can just flip between the colors initially just to show looks pretty cool and then coming down below we've got warm white and cool white as well. And now going to DIY and hit and apply here. We've got the dream color come on. So that's pretty cool. You've got multi colors going all the way round, just to show. And then coming back from there, and if I go to music mode, test one, two, three, energetic there, you can just see the lighting changing according to the sound going on. So pretty cool. If you're watching a movie, you can have these background lights going off as well, just to add to the atmosphere there. Let's go to rhythm, test, one, two, three, spectrum, test, one, two, three, and rolling. So this is the rolling option and it just spins around the lights. So very impressive. Let's go for a brighter color just to test this out. And there you go. Hi there. So they're gonna be unboxing an LED strip kit. So this particular one is by a company called Govi. Details are in the description below for anyone thinking of purchasing. So this particular strip kit is 10 meters in length and it's dream color, meaning you could have multiple colors on a single strip. So let's open it up and see what you get in the packaging. Okay, so I've laid out all the items you get in the packaging. So let me quickly go through them one by one. You get a card saying like it, share it opening that up. If you like it, share your experience on Amazon. If you don't like it, reach out to their support. And on the back, just saying, join our Govi family. Next, we have a user manual and details regarding setting this up and in multi-language, just to note. Then we have a card for key points of installation, just telling you the surfaces you can install it on to clean the surfaces and the fact you need to take the sticky bit off the back to stick it onto a surface and just giving some guidelines on installation. Then we have two alcohol prep pads for cleaning a surface before you stick on. Next we have two bags of fixtures, five fixtures in each bag. This is to give extra rigidity to the actual LED strip kit. So there's a sticky back 3M sticker on there and a bit of plastic just to hold it into place together with screws if you wanted to actually screw it into place. Then we have a power cable. This is 130 centimeters in length. Build quality of the cable feels good and all white in color. Coming around this side, you can see the fused areas red and UK plug on there. Coming around here, if we look at the connection on there, this is what it is. Then we have a power adapter. The cable length on this is 105 centimeters, quite a large brick to this. And looking on there, it's 12 volts, 4,000 milliamp. Next, we have a cable with a controller on there. One end of the cable actually plugs in to a DC connection point from the power adapter. The length of this cable is 14 centimeters and the other side, which is this cable, has two connection points for each of the LED strip kits. So you don't chain them together. They each individually plug into this. And the length of this cable is 95 centimeters. The controller here at the end actually lets you manually control it. And if I spin it around, there's a sticky pad, a 3M pad on there, so you can stick it to a surface. Build quality of this feels good and cable quality seems good as well. Next, we have the actual LED strip kit. So looking on the end here, and there's some pins to connect it up to the connector there. And it's all rolled onto this cartridge here. And if I open it up, you can just see what it looks like. Now coming at the side, it's all rubbery finish on the top. So it's quite nice. 
and you've got 3M sticker underneath all that and coming in close just to show if we look at the connection points just along here there's a slight dip as you can see but still nice and smooth on the top build of this feels good and if I open it up just give you a better idea of what it's like so we have two of these both in cartridges and both come in these bags here I'll just briefly show the other one identical as you can see now I've taken one of the LED strip kits completely out of the cartridge and just to show the end of it there you can just see it's cut straight off in terms of height going from there to there the LED strip is approximately 10 millimeters so around one centimeter let's make a start at setting this up so very easy take the power brick here take the cable plug it in and the cover on the plug we can take that off this can be plugged in at the side I'll do that in a moment DC connection point goes into here and then two points here can be plugged in to the actual LED strip kits I'll just show that close up now if you look the way it's positioned there's a big ridge there and you know that goes where the clip is so if I now place it into position and there you go and that's the whole point of the ridge so it stays clipped in and if you want to take it out simple as that so quite nice and firm how it stays in position do the same with the other side so both of them are plugged in now controllers here and let's plug in the three pin plug so if I press the button here you can turn it on turn it off and then you've got color mode just below that if I go through there you'll go through the static colors you have and then pressing the bottom one you've got brightness and music mode so as it's stationary if I hold on to it you can see the brightness level is changing and if I press it again it goes to music mode and as it's on music mode as I'm talking you can see it changing color and what's interesting it's actually in dream color in this mode so you can see the different colors actually appearing on there and if I can just open up a little bit test one two three test one two three there you go you can see multiple colors appearing so work straight out of the box and you don't need an app to control it manually let me quickly show how to get this strip kit set up so I'm at my Android phone here if I click on the Play Store that's the app we are after if you haven't got it installed obviously install it mine's already installed so if I click on open you can see the other strip kits I've already got now let's add this one in so it's a matter of just clicking the plus here and the one we have here is the H6116 so it's this one here two times five meter dream color for home if I click there and we need to turn on our Bluetooth and that's it it's already found it so if I click here now to connect to it and there you go connected as simple as that so if I click done that's the interface so let me run you through the options we have available if I click on settings here you see the device name you can rename it here and looking at the bottom you've got delete device now coming back you've got an off button here and you can turn it back on again from there you've got the name of the device here version shown here and then the fact it's connected via Bluetooth then we have a timer option to enable the timer I just turn it on there I select it and I can set a start and end time cancelling that next you have a brightness option that takes it down to the minimum of 1% and that's the maximum 100% then we have DIY if I click on that and this is where you can set up the dream color so if I pick my colors next we just give it a name we'll just call it test for now and then here you've got the different options available so if I just click apply first of all it's gone for a single color if I click on subsection and there you go you can see the dream color in action so the way it's worked it seems that the colors you've selected here appear on each of the strips so it doesn't span across from here to here so just to note that now speed wise I can take the speed down and option wise we can try the different ones out that's jumping click apply and that will just jump between the different colors Let's speed it up just to show it in action okay then we have flicker marquee that's pretty cool music test 
one, two, three. So that's the music sync kicking in with this. And then a combo where you can pick multiple options for each of these. Now coming back, if I go back to fade and we go for circulation, and this is quite cool because this is a sort of option you'd want on there. So it just circulates between the different colors on each of the strip kits. So if you look here, you can just see it fading along. I get quite a few questions in the background on another dream color LED strip I did for Govi. And same question all the time is how do you set up the dream color? And this is how you do it, it's as simple as that. Select all your colors in there and obviously select the option you want on there. So you'd either go for subsection or circulation and then you can slow this down if you wanted to so it doesn't transition as quickly or you can just pick subsection so that subsection will fade along. Now coming back from here and looking below, you can see mode. So if I click on music, it will now go to music sync and these are the different options here. So energetic, test, one, two, three, rhythm, test, one, two, three, spectrum and rolling. Test, one, two, three, Pretty cool effects here, I have to admit. And you can change the color, obviously, as part of this, just to show. Test, one, two, three, test, one, two, three, test. Excellent. Excellent bit of functionality there. Now, looking below, you've got the color wheel as well, so you can pick a specific color. So test, test, one, two, three. There you go, pretty cool. Now, coming back, you've got color. So you can pick a static color for it. And just to show below, you've got the warm white and the cold white options as well. So you can flip between those two. So that's warm white, it's cold white. And then obviously you can pick the static colors, then go to the color wheel and pick your static color. Next, you've got scenes. These are different predefined scenes there. So morning, then we've got sunset, movie, Dating, romantic, blinking, candlelight, and snowflake. So there you go, pretty cool. And that's all the options you have available on here. And as you saw, very simple to add in and configure. One thing to note when purchasing this device is that it's a standalone device. It doesn't connect via Wi-Fi, so you can't remotely control this. So it actually connects via Bluetooth on your phone and the other controller obviously is here to control it manually. There's no Wi-Fi controllability available and because of this, there's also no voice control available either via Google Home or the Amazon Assistant. So keep that in mind if you are. Okay, so you've seen the unboxing and setup of this LED strip kit from Govi. Amazing bit of kit here, as you can see, multiple colors spanning across two separate strip kits, each of five meter in length. Only negative, I can say, really is the fact it doesn't control over Wi-Fi. But other than that, a great kit. And as you can see, the results are absolutely stunning. Having multiple colors going across the LED strips, very impressive. So there you go. Hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Details are in the description below. Thanks for viewing, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.